Hello and welcome to Certus. This is a 5v5 on Forge Alliance Forever. A recent game, and of course, on Certus. A whole bunch of civs in the middle, a lot of mass, so early battles gonna be over that. Really, three different battles through the three choke points here. We got TA for Life and Steyr going up against Ukulele and Root. There's a whole bunch of set and splare. In the middle, we got New Fried Rice and Icy. On the other side, we got uh, Leon and Tarias. And on the side, Matt Stork versus Die Hard. So I gotta say, the two TGX uh, probably a bit of an advantage in the middle, but Matt Stork probably an advantage over Die Hard. But that's uh, hard to call at this point. Looks like absolutely no bombing early on. We do have some ACUs moving toward the middle. Leon moving into the middle. Seraphim has some Selene's. Here you can see the defense. First kill goes to the Civs in this game. Artillery coming out for Noob Fried Rice. Cyber and Ardia, it's going to take a while to kill that. But does the job. Otherwise, we see a tank from Mad Stork coming up one line. It's a whole bunch of land factories from Leon. And an engineer coming in, so a couple more point defenses left to destroy. Also, see some uh, Mantai from Ukulele. Bombers now from. TA for life. Now we see three ACUs root uh, thinking about joining the middle. Ukulele also going to the middle. That looks like a raider here for root under a cliff. And bombers for TA for life plus scouts trying to kill the Manti. On the other side, very similar position for Mad Stork and Die Hard. And now it appears that those early arty for new fried rice have broken through. Now they can get a lot of free mass. And you should see, expect I see pretty big power spam, multiple engineers on the power. And if you can get all that mass, you can see he's upgrading very quickly. Leon not coming in with a bunch of arty, not very careful, but takes out a couple point defenses. I see and new fried rice are in the middle. Uh, tech two ACU for I see. There appears that very quick move to take the middle here before minute five. Ikaleli and uh, Root, Aeon and Cyber, CTA for Life and Styre across from them. EEF is going to give a big advantage. On the other side, looks like Matt Stork is going to take the position. A die hard, a little slower, and actually get pressure from tanks here. Multiple point defenses and icy with the shield, really not too much trouble. And you can imagine this is going to be huge huge chunk of mass and since this is Aeon you might as well just capture this. This will be free uh, tech, well not free, still got to pay the power but free in terms of mass. Take three power generators for uh, IC potentially. IC with one kill. That's why we see Ukulele and Root trying to establish a base. Tech 2 ACU for Styre to for life saying back again at Tech 2 power Power storage, multiple power storage, that's a thousand master there, four power storages. The middle completely taken over, that's a nice chunk of four thousand mass for noob. We should expect a lot of these mass extractions to go straight to tech two. A whole bunch of air factories for root, he's known for his airplay. Was originally a very good thermal player, then switched to sentence and became really good in the back. Now he's on Certus. Matt Stork getting an upgrade. And still just facing the arty. Not too much uh, problems, not too many problems. An air battle. Now we see the tech to point defense, 4 star plus TMD. Root uh, again, ukulele to tech 2. Cyber and point defense not as good as EEF since especially on uh, uneven ground like this. Now we're seeing Leon and Tarius, uh Tech 1 ACU, Tech 2 ACU. Just trying to break through this with a bunch of Tech 1 units, it's going to be very difficult. Tech 2 transport for Star drops off a bunch of engineers.
looks like I see uh, getting more upgrades. Perhaps this is Vision. Be a very good upgrade for the metal scouting from New Fried Rice. Tech 2 Swift wins now for GA for Life. See any Tech 2 yet uh, for Air. You clearly again yet another upgrade. Star and I go on Tech 3. And so far it's just building up here, coming up minute 10. Tereus uh, going Tech 2 as well. Leon. Tech 2 getting a uh, Tech 2 power, and you can see these uh, point defenses can't really hit his base using the terrain to hide behind. And a drop here from TA for Life. A couple Tech 2 mask extractors are going to be destroyed. A little man tower coming in here from Ukulele to take care of the problem. Pretty massive Air Force now from Root, mostly Tech 1. Some Tech 2 flag here. For ukulele. Some party runs into its death. These point defenses, quite a few kills. See Icy, still a tech two. And our artillery from the top. See if alive trying to rain down some hell and uh it would be nice to see from the same from the other side, so it's one problem with taking the middle, very vulnerable if you lose the upper sides. Shield's still holding. And our tech three point defense is from Star. Awesome stealth. The spider was started, but that's probably not going to be finished. An air battle here, tech two versus tech one should be taken by the tech two, but very close. And uh, tech two wins. Although we do see now a tech two air spam from Root as well. It looks like this artillery was not able to break through. Take three land for new fried rice, some bricks. Take three land from IC as well. We see some absolvers. And now this is becoming a tech two uh, point defense competition. Cruise missiles as well. Take two shields from Seraphim. And here is just going to be one way traffic. Tech three power now coming up for Star. Spider about third of the way done is abandoned. Some drops here from TA for Life uh, takes out some mass extractors, but gunships come in to uh, take care of the threat. Route retreating back to base. Now here we got missiles flying back and forth, but I see and uh, Nuke Fried Rice not ready to give it the position. He's got some snipers here as well. Those are always nice under these uh, circumstances. Tech, t tech three artillery. And we already see some uh, shells have fallen. Some mobile shields as well. But really, these uh, Seraphim shields should keep the top side in the game. And here at top, we haven't looked in a long time. Matt Stork, two Seraphim players, just got their shields and they're going to stare at each other. And this is the end. Basically, you could thinking about finishing that, but pretty much wasted mass. Might as well just reclaim it. Because even if he gets that build against two ACUs and tech three uh, PDs, that spider is not going to do anything. Here we are seeing a lot of uh, arty doing damage. A lot of mobile missiles uh, here too, trying to shut down those shields. Also some of TA's factories under fire. There's a lot of tech uh, 3 onto air here. The CTA fell off with the ACU shield. That's a total of uh, 38,000 health. Uh, Stire. Also getting some pretty expensive upgrades, most likely a shield. And in terms of air spam, this is really massive. You can see here factory attack move over the engineers then an assist on an engineer that's assist in the factory. That way you can control where the engineer, uh, engineers are sitting. And Mercy is now coming up for root. Some drops from uh, new fried rice by the force tech three point defense is in this position. Tech three point defense creep continues. So Stire and Tate for life. Moving forward a little. This already from uh, new fried rice. 33 kills, 25 kills. 
quite devastating. Very nice splash here. It's still the fight still goes on. That's a massive Air Force now from a root. Attack two gunships are going to attack Leon. Leon quite low on health. And actually, Leon gets taken out. Perhaps there were some mercies. I didn't see if there were some mercies. Take three point defenses for Tarius. This is about to be a, a breakthrough. But now, uh, with his ally lost, it's going to be a big problem for Tarius. Those Seraphim shields are a big advantage. Very timely. Here, the creep continues. This has basically been cut off. And now it's a, it's a question of how far this creep can go along this edge. Let's try to attack the middle. And then that position, IC and New Pride Rice might find themselves between two uh, tech three point defense creeps. Cut them off from the rest of their uh, allies. Whole bunch of mercies. Uh, this is now a tech two, still tech two. Four root. Basically, a big tech 3 land spam here from New Fried Rice and Icy. Some Harveys, a lot of mobile shields. Now, a couple Harveys moving out. Gunships now attacking a TF Life and Styre. This is where the shields are going to come in very handy. And this fight, uh, Root is going to take air. Because these tech 3 gunships take a long time to kill, and uh, we've seen. Basically, the only anti-air left is this uh, take three anti-air from Styre. More shields. Uh, TFLF has lost most of his uh, ACU shield. Really, not in too much danger. Cruise missile snipes. It's under stealth. Trying to knock down some of IC's shields. IC very quickly rebuilding with his take three ACU. Some absolvers knocking down shields is very good, useful. And the creep continues. Now the tech three point defenses have direct fire over this choke point. Although the bricks are still able to get through. And this is a whole bunch of Artie. We got Artie for Noob Fried Rice trying to knock down the shields on this creep. Now this could be very dangerous for. I see a new fried rice if uh, they lose this position, which they're in the process of losing. See a whole bunch of strat bombers. Four root, very big uh, air spam. A bunch of gunships for TA for life trying to protect Darius. Snipers for IC still going to work. And I can see all these engineers getting wiped out. New Fried Rice leaving the battle, leaving IC all alone. So now we know what happens between New Fried Rice and IC. When shit gets bad, uh, New Fried Rice runs home. And IC is going to tough it out, try to get a GC. Although now IC is going to give up. We see a chicken moving in. And uh, without some overcharges for IC. This will be a big problem, although the chicken losing quite a bit of health against the Harveys. And now a whole bunch of Strad Bombers have just sniped TFO Life, as well as uh, Styre. They were actually standing right next to each other. So each one of those bombs hit both Styre and TFO Life, and they both tied together here a little bit before 25th minute. A devastating blow there from Root. Two shielded ACUs uh, killed in one pass. Chicken uh, successfully takes out the middle. Of course, with no give, that's half the basis. Strad bombers still attacking uh, Mad Stort. Trying to get a shield up. There goes Mad Stork. Root absolutely devastating. Here, after it, within a minute, completely turning the game. The game was really shifting in the uh, top team's favor, losing the middle. Very secure area here in terms of land. Mad Stork absolutely no danger. But Root uh, shifts it with a nice strat bomber attack. Taking out three players within a minute. Now ready to take out the last one. He actually killed the first player as well. 
perhaps some mercies. And uh, Tereus is going to die here very shortly. So very nice, Sirtis. Uh, this is a great thing about this game. It could be can be turned on a dime. When you think it's going one way, it uh, can go completely different direction.